Random winners will be chosen. Hey, everybody, we are back on daytime, and you may have heard about Florida's python problem. There's an influx of people releasing Burmese pythons into the wild, and along with some snake escapees, it's become a huge problem for other wildlife. Kelly Diedring Harris, the queen of the daytime jungle, is here to talk about this problem, and she's brought along two little friends with her. Yes. Well, not so little, actually. Uh, Lindsay's holding a little one. Lindsay's right. got the little one. These are both Burmese pythons. Now, I want to talk about the difference. This is a seven year old snake. This is the exact same species as the one you're holding right here. Okay, they start nice, off so guys. small. Look, so that is actually sorry. a part of the problem. So there people do an impulse purchase, and they see a little snake, just like this one you're holding here. Right. It's about as long as a ruler. It's only about 12 inches long. Within a year, it can go to be four to five feet in length. What? And let me just let you people know that um, our viewers know that this sucker strikes. Yes, it he does. He already bit me once. But that, I mean, so it's, you know, just, you, you know what you're getting into, even you're, with the baby Yeah, pythons. absolutely. You're absolutely right. You're a trooper. This one is a baby, so it's looking for food. Okay, so it's just a young one. Burmese pythons in general are a little bit docile, but luckily now you do have to have a permit to have a snake oh, good. like this. So even if you do purchase a small snake, realize it's going to get as big as sunshine here that's actually slithering off of our set. Is sunshine okay. full, full We're gonna, size now? No, no, she could get bigger. We're actually going to pick up um, okay. sunshine. Mark, I'm, I'm going to get rid of this get, one. We've got to get rid of the baby I'm first. Gonna, I'm just yeah, going to go put the baby one down. Set that baby one up Bye, right baby. on the back table there. Right. There you and go. Cindy, if you just want to lift up oh, here. Definitely. Oh. Just, <laughs> did you do your morning snake. workout? No problem. Go ahead, sneaky snake. So this oh. snake, you are right back there. Oh yeah, me? I just <laughs> he doesn't want to let go. You're a good snake wrangler. This is about 80 pounds. You can see that sunshine is oh, nine. Wait a minute. There you go. Okay, in length. Go. Now, How come I always end up with the tush? Let's make it comfortable for sunshine. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, sunshine. Now, this is a constrictor, and what that means is this is not a venomous snake. So, Lindsay, <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't hand you a venomous snake. Okay. They kill by constricting their prey. So, they're, they're an ambush predator. You can see how large this snake is. It wouldn't be going quickly. No. It would lie, lie in wait for something to come across its path. Okay. Now, this is an albino snake. So, a species uh, like a Burmese python that's albino it wouldn't last that long in the wild. Why do mm. you think? Because it's different from all the other ones, and it right. doesn't it camouflage as well as its little friends. Yeah, it doesn't blend in uh, into the wild. So this snake is so big, it's, li it's living in captivity, obviously. Right. Mm -hmm. Of course, you have to have a permit. The Sun Coast Primate Sanctuary right here in our backyards in Tampa yeah. actually takes animals in that people cannot find homes for or if they've outgrown them. Here's the thing. If you do have a snake that you can't handle, right. find somebody who can. Absolutely do not let it go into the wild. Okay. Because the Everglades is actually a very fragile ecosystem. Mm -hmm. Right. And what's happening is invasive exotic species are down there and they're out competing our native animals mm. and they're actually destroying habitat. So it's great to find a place like the Sun Coast Primate Sanctuary that will take it in. If you don't live here in Florida, there are sanctuaries all across the country that you can call. Just don't release an animal into the wild. And, it, and how long do these pythons live, typically? Up to 20 to 25 years. So it's a big commitment if you decide it's to take one in as a pet. It's a huge commitment, and luckily, you know, there are places that will take them for you. Of course, they're all run by volunteers, so I always tell people, if you want to support a cause, support an animal sanctuary. Now, this is Kelly a beautiful Kelly Diedring Harris, thank you. And this is sunshine. You are gorgeous. <laughs> Very Isn't that the perfect? Thank you. <laughs> and Kelly is wearing faux, uh, faux uh, snake shoes. I just yes. wanted to point that out. No snakes were harmed in the making <laughs> no. of these shoes. <laughs> All right, stay with us. Daytime will be right back. Heavy little sucker. Yeah. <laughs> How much does he weigh? She's about 80 pounds. Snack the